Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh! All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice jab there by O'Malley. He's got to try to get this fight to the ground. Three minutes to go. Slips the punch. Snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Nice jab by O'Malley. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Marco Menop gets caught with that punch. Slips the punch. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But he's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. One minute to go here in the opening round. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, huge left. Oh. Holy smokes. Hey, stop. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rocked and stunned his opponent multiple times, and I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool, or is he going to fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness, but it's not ideal. You want to be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two on the way. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. All right, well, we thought in this round perhaps things would be different, but that is not the case. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back 
into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. Oh! So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. Oh! Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. Once he got turned in, steps up. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO!